shit. Um, what's going on, guys? Lotus with us here, back with another video. This is part two. Of what if Deku had? Oh, uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Vibration manipulation. Sorry, cause this is actually the second time I'm doing this. I tend to forget things. So yeah, let's get into it. Last I left off. Midoriya heard a voice from the vibrations, and Midoriya asked, who are you, to the voice reply saying, I am God, or to be more precise, the God that, well, looks over you, and before I say anything else, I'd actually like to apologize, to which Midoriya asks, why, Midoriya says, I'd like to apologize for what you have been put through due to my negligence, as I plan to, well, help you by giving you the ability of vibration manipulation you will have to you will have to stay here and train your abilities for a year by that time your class should be in the second year which makes it perfectly fine for you to go and Midoriya says okay to which he is perfectly fine with that but we cut to the end of the year where Izuku has fully mastered his abilities and he's able to talk to well his the vibrations mentally spiritually and psychopathically as we cut back to actually a year ago or to be more precise 10 years ago which means two months after Izuku woke up to which Hawks has been well feeling bad for about what happened to izuku but then he remembered the promise he made to izuku so then he says i must fulfill that wish to which he goes to ua and goes to nezu's office and says nezu to which nezu replies saying oh hawks how may i help you to which nezu says i need you to call a student in here and nezu says okay which student as he says kyoka jiro as over the pe for class 1a they hear kyoka jiro please come to the principal's office to which Jiro goes and sees Principal Nazu and says, Hi, sir, how may I help you? To which Nazu says, Jiro, you have a guest. To which she says, Who? As Hawks walks out of the corner and says, Hey there, kid. Um, I have a promise I made to a friend that I have to fulfill. So I need to whisper something in your ear. As she says, Okay. So he says, I'll be saying this in first person, not third or second person. As he says, this is a message from, well, Azuku before he died. To which, the voice, as he says, Jiro, I love you. As that's what he whispered in her ear. It wasn't that loud, that's just what, well, he said. To which Jiro hears this and her eyes light, widen, widen up. To which she goes outside as she stands right in front of the door for a little while as she cries. She's silently crying while holding her skirt as she runs to the girl's bathroom. Now, back inside of the principal's office, Nezu says, Do you think she'll be alright? As Hawk says, No, not really. But it only depends on how it goes from there. To which... <laughs> ah, right. I was about to say to which we go back to Izuku, but then I remembered, no, not right now. So, yeah. Um, Izuku, he can manipulate vibrations, basically. The vibrations could be, like, any shape or form, basically, but he'd rather them to be spheres or circles. So, yeah. But, we're still with Class 1A. To which Jiro goes to the bathroom, to which he starts punching the wall, saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, to which he is crying. Cursing herself, saying, I'm sorry, Izuku, for not protecting you. To which she goes back to the class five minutes later with puffy red eyes, to which Aizawa sees this and calls her and says, Jiro, come here. To which Jiro goes to him and he says, are you okay? As Jiro says, yeah, I'm fine, sir. To which Aizawa says, if you feel like you can't stay, you have full permission from me to walk out the class. But that doesn't mean you can walk out the school. She says, okay, sir. As he says, you can go sit down now. To which she goes to sit down at her desk. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So, she goes to sit down to which she is crying. She has her head in her, well, arms on the desk with her head down and she's crying. Nobody can hear this because she's silently crying. To which Izuku 
all the way inside the forest hears the vibrations of Jiro's heart just cursing herself out and stuff like that and he notices the voice due to well the heart vibrations yeah sorry about that to which he grab he doesn't grab it but he directs it to float towards him to which the vibration of Jiro's heart floats to him to which he shelters it in a orb of warmth to which Jiro can't feel it until Azuku he creates a bubble of well that's green and he sends it to well where Yue is to exactly Jiro to which it goes inside her earphone jack as all of a sudden she hears a voice that says Jiro calm down to which she gets up and says huh who is it as Aizawa says Jiro are you okay as Jiro says e yeah I just thought I heard something as she says, all right, as we cut to 10, 10 o'clock at night, where Jiro is listening to depressing music. <coughs> okay, all right, if you heard that, you heard that, but if you didn't, it doesn't matter. All right, so yeah. So... All of a sudden, she just sees a bubble, a green bubble, walk into her room as all of a sudden the bubble just gets all spiky and he hears words from it that says, stop. All of a sudden, all of the music she was playing just stops. To which the bubble starts taking form of, well, how Izuku used to look. To which Jiro's, as Jiro's in a fighting stance, to which Izuku says in his old voice, Calm down, Jiro, as he hears the voice and she starts crying and says, I Izuku? To which Izuku says, y yeah, it's me. To which she goes on her knees as she starts crying and she's saying, I'm sorry. To which Izuku, or to be exact, the bubble form goes to her and hugs her. As she cries for a whole solid 10, 10 to 5 to 10 minutes in her arms as... Yeah, five to, a solid 5 to 10 minutes in her arms as Zuku picks her up and puts her on the bed to which he puts on relaxing sounds, basically running water and she can imagine the landscape which is like basically like a pond with lotus pebbles, lotus flowers because, well, ponds usually have lotuses and lily pads, so yeah, and cherry blossom trees and stuff like that and green grass. To which she sleeps peacefully on that night. To which she never heard from Izuku again after that day. And all the villains heard about this. And Stain was the most pissed off. Why? Because he thought that Izuku was, well, a, a hero and so did he think of Ida. And he immediately took back his words about Ida and says, I should have taken care of him while I had the chance. So then the villains hear about this and Shigaraki, he's actually pissed why because well the heroes are so quick to throw away their friends and he actually felt a little bit of sympathy for midoriya of how heroic he is to which all my he still doesn't have a successor but i'm probably gonna make it bakugo why because i always gotta make it bakugo and plus it's gonna be hard for miria to use it so yeah to which Two months later, the villains attack Yue, or to be exact, the League of Villains attack Yue, to which Aizawa gets out in a fighting stance as Shigaraki says, erase her head, move, we're not here for you. As he says, oh, you're here for All Might. Then all of a sudden, All Might comes in saying, ha ha ha, I am here. To which he is warped all the way to Alaska. As Aizawa's like, wait, you're not here for him either? He says, no, we're here for Class 1A. Bring them out here now. As Class 1A starts walking out and to a straight line, to which, as they're walking into a straight line, Dobby and Toga notice that, well, Jiro has a depressed look on her face and she looks like she hasn't slept and she looks like she's been crying. To which they walk up to her as she's frightened. She thinks that she's going to get, well, hit. To which, to the, her and their surprise, Toga hugs her, and Dobby says, Shigaraki, she's different. As Shigaraki says, yeah, I can see it too. As 
he says he directs Dobby and says go ahead as Dobby says kid you can go inside but you have to promise me one thing and Jiro says oh, okay w what is it she thinks it's gonna be something bad but Dobby just pats her head and says you have to go to sleep you look like you need it and she says oh, okay as she goes inside and sleeps to hear the same melody she heard like while she was sleeping she hears that same melody she heard two months ago while she's sleeping every night so yeah so that happens as outside i'm sorry i'm just having hiccups right now she oh wow let's see let's see let's see okay ah i spoke too soon to which Shigaraki looks at Cloud 1A and says, Your disgraces, failures. Not only that, you betrayed the innocent. innocent. To which the class yells out and says, What do you mean the innocent? To which Shigaraki says, Azuku Midoriya. As class 1A says, That villain? To which Dobby says he wasn't a villain. As a matter of fact, he didn't have any relations to us whatsoever. Nor did he have any relations with with, with Stain. To which Twice comes out and says, Hi, um, Twice. Um, I'm actually the, the one that framed Midoriya. My quirk allows me to, well, make copies of people using direct, well, um... Well, using direct measurements of them, which you gave us at the at the UA Sports Festival. And Nezu hearing this, he says, So this is my fault. Oh, no. To which, the, to which Shigaraki says, Whether you decide to believe it or not is not up to us. And whether he decides to become a villain after he returns, if he's alive, or a hero does not depend on on you or us but himself so watch what you do if you meet him well we'll be leaving now to which they leave as class when they are walking back from the incident feeling not sorry for themselves but sorry for what they did and especially Ida because he just turned on his classmate who saved his life as They're about to go inside the class as Aizawa says, wait out here. To which he goes inside and sees Jiro sleeping and tries to tap her, but he feels like he touches something. To which he activates his quirk and sees a green bubble, to which it takes form and says, hey there, Mr. Aizawa. To which Aizawa hears the familiar voice and says, P -p problem child? To which Izuku says, uh huh, yeah, it's me. To which Aizawa says, so you're still alive, what happened? As Zuku says, I can't tell you that, but I can just tell you this. I'm somewhere far away, but I'm safe. I'll be coming back in a year, or to be more precise, no, eight months from now, yeah. As he says, oh, okay. As he says, whether you can find me or not depends up to you. As he leaves. As the bubble disappears, as Zuku, from the last which he says to Aizawa is, Don't interrupt her while she sleeps. She actually needs it. She's been having a rough time lately after I died. As he says, all right. To which he notifies the class to come in, to which Mina tries to go to, well, Jiro, to which Aizawa says, Mina, move away from her and go back to your seat. As Mina says, okay, to which I'm going to end it off there. Not the what if, but the times, the, um, the flashbacks to which now it's a year later to all of a sudden a person looking like this just walks around and Izuku's relationship with his, um, with the vibrations around him are actually a lot. 
as like they have a great relationship and stuff like that they don't fight and stuff like that the one that likes him the most is the lust vibration why because the lust vibration is planning to help him find well somebody he loves apart from jiro she feels like well he doesn't love anyone anymore so yeah so while she's walk walking or while she's walking around there's a photo shot shoot happening with Ryuku, to which the lust vibration says, don't you think the one with the yellow hair looks cute? As Azuku says, I guess you're right, the yellow one, the one with the yellow hair does look cute. As Ryuku catches wind of what he says and she starts blushing. As Izuku he arrives to the place that he was going which was well a construction site to get a job or to be a demolisher basically as he shows them his skills to demolish things using vibrations and this is going to be using well science i'm going to teach you things about science so buckle up brains you're about to learn something new so all right Basically, the vibrations are kind of like the cores of a cell. Or to be exact, like a star. And he uses the gravity inside, the gravity vibrate. He uses gravity to, well, push in the cores of the vibrations, which makes the core smaller, but expands the outside layer which means if it explodes, it will do a lot of damage. Not only does he do that, he does it with the disintegration vibrations. So he doesn't just make things just go around. So, yeah. That happens. And, yeah, so Izuku, he gets a salary of 100,000. No, 500,000. Why? Because if it wasn't for him they would have a hard time demolishing things so he's basically the most destructive demolisher basically so because not most destructive but more efficient so yeah so while that happens aizawa remembers that izuku would be coming back at this time and he's trying to look around for izuku to which izuku he knows this basically but he won't do anything but everything happened, the sports festival happens in the next two weeks, as Izuku sees this as he thinks, huh, it's interesting. Like, they're still in their first year, calm down, they're still in their first year. They're still in their first year, alright? They're still in their first year. To which, the sports festival happens, and Izuku is watching it to see that Bakugo wins, and as he says, eh... He's got, he looks weaker now. He's kind of weak now. But it doesn't matter to me. To which, he goes on with his life. So, we skip all the way to the training camp arc. And, why the training camp arc? Because, the training camp arc. As, one night while Izuku is sleeping... He hears noise, or to be exact, yelling, which are the vibrations of that force that gets attacked, saying, Ow, it burns, leave me alone, stop hurting me, to which the vibrations are saying, Izuku, help us, please, to which Izuku hears this, and he goes to, well, the place, to which he goes and sees that it's getting attacked, as he sees all the fire, and he says, Hydrogen and oxygen vibrations fuse water vibrations Water and fire ash to which He puts out all the fire to which Dobby's wondering what what how as Azuku He's behind him and says, you know, I'd appreciate it if you don't attack my I'd appreciate if you don't attack them as He turns around and says who are you as Azuku says? Sorry, but I don't think you're qualified to know who I am, but I'm only going to ask this once. 
please don't attack this forest. I understand if you want to do your villainy, but just don't do it in this forest. Or I'll have to get into contact. Or to be exact, don't do it to any tree. As Darby says, like I care. As Azuku says, alright, suit yourself. Well, I'll be seeing you soon. As he also hears the heart of Koda saying, ah, somebody help me. To which he uses the vibration that was between... The vibration of air that was between Koda and... Muscular for the split second, and he made the vibration loud. As the vibration... It's kind of like a siren noise. It does a siren noise to which it alarms the heroes, uh, the area, to which the villains think that they're in trouble and stuff like that. So, yeah. To which Azuku, he attacks him. To which Izuku, he attacks Muscular, and Muscular thinks, oh, this kid really wants to fight me. As he says, hey kid, I'll give you this one chance. Leave or you're dead. So then all of a sudden, he has a sense that he just got multiple of his organs just bursted through. Like he just had holes punched through him. As he's frightened now. As Azuku says, T doesn't matter. As Azuku, well, he's frightened. Mus he brings muscular to his knees with the vibrations in his ankles by weakening them. To which he goes to muscular and puts his hand, one each hand on one of muscular's ears, and he basically, well sends a loud vibration to his ear basically a high-pitched sound which knocks him out as everybody notices this as after they're done and the villains leave aizawin mandalay and pixie bob and tiger as well as class 1a go all the way to well where they are to see this person just over there as Aizawa says who are you as the Zuku turns around and says sorry but that cannot be said for now maybe some other time but not now as the Zuku he minds his own business as he goes back to well life to which to which the Zuku a year has passed, to which now it's time for the entrance exams for the second year, which Izuku, he goes to take, to which they see him and they said, wait a minute, who are you? I don't think you're a second year. As Izuku says, well, I'm qualified to be a second year. I'm 18, aren't I? As they said, all right, show us what you got, to which they bring out all the robots and Izuku uses high pitch vibrations and explodes all of them and he does the same for the zero pointer. As they go to well class 1A as Aizawa says alright class sit down we have a new student. As Aizawa says introduce yourself. To which they hear the person say in a certain voice says my name is Cliffhanger. Got you. Huh. You really thought I was about to do that? Nah, bro. He said in his old voice, Long time no see, guys. As they said, is Midoriya? As Midoriya's voice changed back to his normal voice, which is a deep voice, and says, Yeah, it's me. As Bakugo stands up and says, how are you still alive, nerd? As all of a sudden, Bakugo feels a pressure, a scary pressure, like a pressure of blood, like blood, as which 
come what comes out of Izuku's mouth sounds more like a demon than human, as Izuku says, I don't know. How are, how are you still in UA? As Bakugo is frightened and sits down and says, Tch. To which, Izuku, he's minding his own business, to which, Midoriya sees Jiro sleeping. Or, to be exact, Jiro sleeping on his chair. To which he goes all the way to his old seat, picks up Jiro, and he sits her on her lap and lets her sleep. As, they're like, what? As Izuku says, mind your own business and good, and start the class, please, Aizawa. As Aizawa says, alright. As the class ends, as... Midoriya whispers in Jiro's ear in his old voice, Jiro, wake up. As Jiro hears the voice and he gets up and says, Midoriya? As she turns around and sees this person, Zuku says in his old voice, Yeah, it's me. As she hugs him and starts crying and she's saying, I'm sorry. As Zuku says, it's alright. And that's where I'm going to be leaving it off because I'm not starting with the next class yet. So, yeah, um, like I said, these videos will not be that long because I'm afraid my phone will turn off. So, yeah. The ships are Izuku x the baddie Jiro x Mir Ryuku. Oh, I almost said Miracle. My bad. So, yeah. Um, yeah. If the audio is sucky, I'm sorry. Like, my voice has been acting up. So, yeah, bye guys, or to be exact, the tone and pitch. So, yeah, bye guys, see you in the next video.